Chapter 5 Battle Pass has just been leaked as we say goodbye to OG Fortnite and hello to a crazy new season. I woke up this morning to people sending me pictures of the Chapter 5 Battle Pass making both the skins and also the map for Chapter 5 both leaked. We'll take a close look at the map including additional information on new POIs that are going to be coming with Chapter 5 in a little bit but the Battle Pass is obviously what everyone is very excited to take a look at with some absolutely insane collaborations coming. You don't want to miss any of this. So there's always someone that goes ahead and leaks something just before the new season's about to come out. This time it was at Xbox on their promotionals page. And if you take a look on screen here, you can see some people managed to go ahead and take a picture of the Chapter 5 Battle Pass just before Xbox realized and took the image down. Tomorrow, we'll be getting the end of season live event called The Big Bang. And then on Sunday, the day after, we'll be jumping into the new Chapter 5 season. So let's take Take a closer look at what's been revealed in this leaked image, starting off with Peter Griffin. Are you kidding me? Fun fact, we've actually been talking about Peter Griffin coming to Fortnite for over a thousand days now. We've got our very first leaks about a Peter Griffin image, believe it or not. A little animation file that was meant to be included in game, but never ended up being used. And I, I'll be honest, I, I thought that this game was just never going to be released. Maybe they thought about doing it at one point and decided to scrap it, but no, it is happening. And it seems he's got dressed up for the occasion. He's in a very, very smart suit, which I'm sure is one of the many styles that you'll be able to get for him in the battle pass. If Peter Griffin is coming to the game, the likelihood is we'll probably get even more Family Guy members as well, quite later on in the chapter five season. But let's focus on what we know right now, as there is another collaboration, a pretty huge one, that people are kind of overlooking a little bit. I think just because it's in the background and everyone's hyped up about Peter Griffin, which is Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. You can also be seen right in the background of this image, just chilling, ready for all of us to use in just a few days' time. Again, if he's in the game, we could be getting more Metal Gear series characters in the item shop very soon after the season's release, meaning the collaborations are already off to a seriously hot start, and this is only the battle parts. But I always see people online talking about the fact that they, they like collabs, but they also love original skins, and I think Fortnite have got some of the coolest original skins that we've seen for a while, including one that I've known about for a long time and I've probably shared it here on the channel. So you guys may recognize it as well, which is actually a concept skin that Epic Games have sent out to people to take a look at and decide if they like it or don't like it, which is finally going from concept to reality and releasing with the start of chapter five. Just want to have a friendly reminder here, guys. Before we jump into chapter five, if you spend a second going to the bottom right-hand corner of your item shop and entering code ALIA, it is a free way to support me that helps me out massively, especially when everyone's picking up the battle pass with the start of a chapter, because it will be including a literal tiger as a Fortnite skin. I'm not joking. Look at this guy. He looks amazing. You see a better look at the skin through the concept art on screen here. And I just absolutely love when animals come to Fortnite as their own skins because it sounds ridiculous, but does work and looks absolutely amazing. Like, I want to be running around as a giant tiger in Fortnite. I'm probably more excited for this than even the other collabs at this point. I'm very excited to see what the additional styles will end up being for this skin as well. I think there's so much potential for this one to have something really, really awesome. We've got more original skins in here as well, including a fencer designed skin, a diamond dealer, and also a fur coat. Wrapping up all of the battle pass skins that we can see in this image, but that's only the beginning of everything that this reveals because there's new weapons, new vehicles, and we also get the name of the season revealed to us through this as well. The official name for Fortnite Chapter 5 is called Underground. And if we take a closer look at the center skin that's been revealed in this leaked battle pass, I'm only just taking a closer look at this, but we could actually be looking at a slightly older, new version of Jonesy himself. I didn't quite clock that before. Not only is this a new version of Jonesy that we've never seen, he's also holding a brand new weapon that will be a part of the brand new chapter. Now, the cool thing about this new weapon isn't just the fact that it's actually a new weapon, but actually what's on the weapon that's more important. Because we've got leaks that suggest that attachments could finally be coming to the game in chapter 5, which is where you can basically modify your weapon from picking up items around the map, like different scopes or silencers that all have their own rarity from greater legendary, just like weapons, that can completely modify your weapon to make a bad gun good and a good gun even better. 
If we take a closer look at the skin that this Jonesy is holding, you can see that there is a scope on there. There appears to be a silencer on there and also a very large magazine. This could be our very first look at actual attachments on guns in Chapter 5, which is why this new gun image is so special. We can't overlook the fact that they're, of course, all standing on some sort of vehicle that we have definitely not seen before. This looks to be some sort of futuristic armored car. It, it reminds me of like a mini Batmobile, which I don't think it is, but just saying if they did put a Batmobile in Fortnite, that would be incredible. Look, we've had a collaboration with Ferrari. Why not have a collaboration again with Batman and put the Batmobile in the game? Just saying it'd be amazing. An additional, an additional car vehicle attachments have been in the in-game files for ages now, including the ability to put a turret on a car that hasn't been seen before in-game. We've already been able to put like a front cow catcher on cars and give it bigger wheels. So this could be our first look at additional car attachments and upgrades also coming to the game as well. Like I told you, there is so much stuff, guys. And this is all just from one image. On top of that, there's a very specific reason that I have the M&M skin on and is a really important reason that you guys need to know about as well. And since making yesterday's video, where I talked about a load of Chapter 5 leaks. There have actually been additional information revealed about specific locations, POIs, and more that will be coming to the Chapter 5 island that I can share with you. But before we do that, I've got something very exciting to share with you guys. As for the first time ever, you can now get the Allié Scuff Envision controller. This is Scuff's newest PC dedicated controller, featuring my newest controller design, including all of the Scuff features you've come to love, like full remappable back paddles, customizable thumbsticks, instant response, digital tap triggers and buttons, but that's not all. Envision features two S buttons that can also be remapped and pressed easily by your trigger fingers, and brand new G keys that can be programmed to do anything you want on your PC. I Meaning you can be playing games and simply tap a G button to mute your mic, start playing music, close down a program, or anything you want, making this truly the best all-in-one PC gaming controller. And for a limited time only, you can now use code Allier at checkout to get a 5% discount and an additional $30, euros, or pounds off all my Scuff Allier controllers. So now is the perfect time to upgrade your controller just in time for Christmas. You can find prices and more details all linked in the description. Now, let's talk about that Chapter 5 map and some huge locations that are going to be coming to the game and the fact that actually this map is a little bit more familiar than you may first realize as if you take a closer look at it and according to the in-game name of this map it's actually going to end up being a slightly remixed version of the chapter 2 island. I quite like this. We've just been playing on the chapter 1 island for OG Fortnite. So moving into the next map, which has little shout outs to the chapter 2 map, is a cool way to progress. But of course, the majority of it is brand, brand new with so many new locations. There are 11 names for chapter 5 POIs that I can go through and share with you guys. We've got Abandoned Mansion, Abandoned Ruins, Coastal City, Grand Glacier Hotel, Marina Town, Mountain Village, Orchard, River Capital, Rural Village, Society Estate, and a tennis club. I like that. We've had a golf course here. Why not go ahead and change to a little tennis for once? Current leap version of the map doesn't have all of the POIs and like the buildings actually ingrained into it. You can see where a lot of the locations will sit. One of the biggest things that everyone's talking about is the potential for a train line to go around this map with a route that's been spotted that goes through mountains, even through some of the big cities, making it the very first time we've ever had a train on the Fortnite island. There's actually weirdly loads of other codename POIs that have also been found and leaked for areas that probably won't come to the Chapter 5 islands for like seasons and seasons. I'll throw a few of them up on screen here if you want to pause the video and take a close to look and are interested. One of the POIs can actually be seen in the image and I totally forgot to talk about it earlier. With the name of this chapter being called Underground, it seems like the island has seen a lot of destruction and the image can actually be seen within a broken, sort of destroyed cathedral. You can see a stained glass window in the background. Definitely a POI location we have not seen before in Fortnite and I'm so excited to see how we go from OG Fortnite to the live event to this big, broken, crazy Chapter 5 island 
Island that we'll all be running around on on Sunday. Now, I mentioned to you guys as an important reason that I have the M&M skin on, and that's because literally tomorrow, I'll be live streaming the Big Bang Fortnite event that will take us from the OG Fortnite season that we're in, which has flown by. I cannot believe that four weeks of this OG-ness has, has gone by already. I'm actually so sad that it's over so soon. And we know that this live event will include the rocket. Oh, and they decide to unvault dirt bikes for the last two days of the season, if you're wanting to run around on those for a little bit. We know that Eminem will be in the live event playing a little bit of like a concert. And there'll also be teasers for huge new modes that will all be dropping right at the beginning of Chapter 5. But having the Eminem skin and actually going into the live event and being a part of it, I don't believe you need to have the Eminem skin on. You just need to have purchased the Eminem skin before the event and then actually be in the event when it happens. You will get a special variant for the Eminem skin, like a magma version. It will never be available to get again. So this is your only chance to get it. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up. and thought I'd wear it right now as a nice little reminder. There's nothing worse than knowing that you could have got something really cool and exclusive and one-off and then not actually getting it. So I'm here to make sure you guys don't miss out. Once a live event has happened, you will not be able to play Fortnite Battle Royale. But for the very first time ever, you will be able to play Creative Experiences. Look at that. Literally one day to go. I'm so excited, man. Make sure you subscribe to watch the live stream of the event right here on the channel tomorrow. And then on Sunday, once a Chapter 5 update has gone live and everyone can download it and access it, and the servers come back up, we will be able to play on the new chapter. And over the next week, three huge modes will be dropping. The first one's a giant collaboration with Lego, including updates to the item shop, which will actually allow us to have Lego cosmetics, which sounds amazing. And its own dedicated permanent Lego mode that will be staying in Fortnite. There will also be a racing mode, which is rumored to be connected between Rocket League and Fortnite. Epic Games actually own Rocket League, if you guys didn't know, so it makes sense that these two will actually cross over. So its own dedicated racing mode with a competitive mode and tracks that will actually use parts of the Fortnite Island as well will be available. Then the third mode is going to be a music rhythm based game. All of these dropping on top of a new chapter island with a new battle pass, new skins. Like, I mean, man, honestly... They are going all out to make sure that they keep as many of these players that have come back for OG Fortnite into the next chapter as possible, and it's going to be huge. Also, guys, literally launched yesterday. I have some really cool news. There are exclusive Christmas 2023 merch designs. I've got one of them on now, and I'll show you more of them on screen, including Christmas hoodies with a special Christmas Alley A logo, Christmas jumper available in both red and blue, and also one of my favorites, a fluffy topped beanie hat with the Alley Christmas logo are all available right now only at Allier.shop. All other websites are frauds and are scamming you, so please do not buy from there. So pick that up now to get yourself an early Christmas present or add it to your Christmas list. I'll leave a link at the top of the description for you guys. Now, this could be one of my final games of OG Fortnite, so of course I want to make sure that I win it. Not sure if he's still in there. I'm assuming not. I want to destroy it just in case we can't get away. Oh gosh, he's not happy. He's aiming a sniper at me. <laughs> These guys are filled with legendary loot. Guys, if you thought OG Fortnite was big, Chapter 5 is going to be even bigger. Who's going to win this? He's using my shockwave nades to get away. This dude only has a shotgun and an SMG. And it did not work out for him. Don't forget to check out my brand new Scuff Envision controller and the new merch. Links in the description. You can see even more Chapter 5 specific info on screen here. And I'll see you for the live event tomorrow.